It's Wednesday, March 13th. I took the day off from work to head to the range, but I'm sitting in my Jeep in front of the gate to the Lido Creek firing line. The reason why I'm at the Lido Creek firing line is because the West End Gun Club is inaccessible due to the creek flood. Um, the creek has been flooded for the past four to five weeks now. It was doable for a little bit of time as far as crossing it, but now it's, it's sketchy. In my Jeep, I could probably do it, but I don't want to risk it um, due to the fact that I don't, I always drive alone. I don't have another vehicle and I don't have a spotter with me. Nobody's with me. So there is a good chance that you'll get high centered or hung up on a, on a large rock if you hit a rut inside that, that water, inside the creek. The creek isn't even that deep. I wouldn't even say it's more than a foot and a half in most spots. Um, but it's just, you can't see it. And the water's flowing pretty good. So that's why I haven't been to the range in the past four to five weeks now. I would run to Palmdale for to the Desert Marston Range. Unfortunately, they shut down their um, road because it rained two days ago. And anytime it rains, they always shut down the road, no matter how little the rain it gets, because I think it gets muddy and they don't want cars or vehicles just kind of messing up the road while it's wet so they don't have to regrade it. So they shut it down, and I would have went there instead, but unfortunately they closed it today. So that's why I'm here waiting in front of the Lido Creek firing line gate. So this place, I haven't shot it in 10 years. It doesn't have a great reputation. I mean, it's a place to shoot in Southern California, but a lot of people have bad things to say about it. Um, if you're like a heavy shooter, um, you do a lot of competitions. This place, um, they have lots of rules. It attracts a certain type of crowd as well that you may or may not appreciate as far as safety is concerned. So. I know they have rules on the website that, you know, that, that shows that they're trying to enforce safety, and that's great, but they have some rules that they're trying to enforce gun laws, and it's, it really prohibits or kind of hinders your ability to enjoy your legally owned firearms. So that's why I don't shoot here. Um, also because it's 20 bucks to shoot here um, when you want to shoot, as opposed to a membership range where I just join up and then you just go whenever you want. Anyway, I'm um, just waiting, and I wanted to come. I needed to shoot today because I have this rifle config that I'm sitting on for over a week and a half now, and I really wanted to shoot it. So, and I really wanted to get some photos of it out in the range. So that's why we're doing it today. It's windy, so I can't really do some load testing with this rifle. I have lots of rimfire rounds that I wanted to test in it, but we'll wait for a better day, and I'll wait till West End Gun Club is accessible. I'd rather just do it there. It's a controlled environment, so. Anyway, it's 8, 7.52, they open at 8, uh, so 8 more minutes, and then um, we'll get in there, get signed in, figure out where we're going to shoot as far as this facility is concerned, and then we'll go from there. So what I ended up doing with my CZ455 is I swapped out the stock for the Masterpiece Arms BACZ chassis. So I actually had this on order for 20 weeks. Then after 20 weeks, they finally uh, gave me a call and said I was ready to go. So I completed the deposit and <clears throat> I received it a week later and I did the swap. One of the things that I'm going to put in the article is how the stock actually comes, or the chassis comes with the Arca Swiss dovetail already milled on. I was waiting for a long right, time actually after SHOT Show 2018 before I was going to actually get this chassis because I wanted them to redesign it so it has the Arca Swiss dovetail. But they were taking a long time to update their product page and they never updated it. So I finally said, you know what, they're probably not gonna revise it anytime soon. So I went ahead and ordered the chassis. And then, so when I got it, after 20 weeks or so, I was surprised to find out that it actually had it milled in the chassis. So that's one pleasant surprise. You might want to call MPA to make sure that's the case, but if you order an MPA chassis for a CZ now, it should come with the chassis, or sorry, with the Arca Swiss dovetail milled in there, even though the product page has not been updated.
keep it right where we can. Yeah. Well, no, just slide it off. It just slides off. You don't want to leave that rod at the end of that board. No. <laughs> and if you only get you one more shot, we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so my target board is literally moving side to side right now, so that could be affecting this group. It's a really cold, a breezy day here. My 25 yard target looks pretty bad for the CZ. I should be one holding it 25, but I'm not. Uh, but I think the gun is shooting, you know, it's kind of a bad day to, to really get actually testing. The gun should be shooting fine. I just need to, uh, I just want to confirm that I need to, like the torque settings I'm gonna go with, but I guess I'll just stick with 35 inch pounds right now. I'm probably not even going to shoot that much longer. I'm just, I just put about 20 rounds through it. I have a cold, just so you guys know. And that's why I feel like crap. And I, I, I'm just like sort of uh, <clears throat> kind of clearing my throat sometimes. But uh, it's not getting any better sitting out here. So we'll kind of shoot a little bit more. I was hoping to get some photos. But they've got this overhang that's like really killing the sun. And the video is not going to look all that great. So this is not going to be a great range vlog, I guess, simply because this facility, I mean, isn't the best for, I mean, I mean, I could work it if I had shot here before recently, but the fact that I haven't really been here in a while, trying to vlog is a little difficult, so. The RO of the range was nice enough to let me come to the other side of the, uh, the I guess they have multiple range areas, but this one's kind of closed off today, but he's letting me record here. Anyway, just a quick overview of the Masterpiece Arms BACZ chassis. This is the CZ455 chassis. It's pretty much built the same way as a standard MPA chassis is concerned, as like my, uh, like my comp chassis, um, with a little bit slight of differences. The, uh, this is more based on their light chassis, so it doesn't have the adjustable thumb wheel uh, cheek riser. It doesn't have the magwell cut on the um, weak side, I guess, for the uh, for like an AICS mag. But you've got the enhanced vertical grip, which is also a new option. Before on their website, it says it comes with the A2 grip, but they actually included the EVG with it, which is great because I love the EVG. As I mentioned earlier, it does come milled for the Arca Swiss dovetail. So you have, you see me, I have it mounted on the Really Right Stuff clamp with a Really Right Stuff Harris bipod adapter. I put a spigot mount. This is like their older version, V3, I think. They have a V4 spigot mount, which I also bought, but it does not fit this rifle. So, or for this chassis. The problem with the V4 spigot mount is that it's designed such that it does Arca, Arca and Picatinny on the same spigot mount, so you just flip it upside down, whichever way you want to go. The problem is if you want to show pick side down, the Arca plate hits the barrel, at least on the CZ chassis. So I sent them an email about that. What I ended up doing was taking the V4 spigot mount, put it on my BA comp chassis, and took the older V3 spigot mount off that one and put it on here, and it works fine. But this is only set up for Arca right now. Anyway, I'm kind of happy, or I'm relatively happy with this chassis. Just to say I'm really happy with the chassis. Um, I put my magazines away. They're over there by the Jeep, but 
you, it's easy to put the magazine into the gun. It's not that big a deal. You think it's kind of tucked away in there, but the five round, uh, five round mag actually fits inside the chassis and you can't see it from the side. The 10 round just like barely sticks out and you have enough room on the front side of the chassis to cut it out so that you can insert your finger to actuate the magazine release. So with the 10 round mag for a CZ, um, it just goes inside pretty easily. It's easy to guide into the chassis. Uh, you can see it kind of protrudes on the bottom. You can s see it from here. And then in, in order to release the mag, you just put your finger forward, hit the tab, and you're good to go. The five round mag, uh, it kind of disappears into the mag well. And if I have that insert right, such that when you insert into the magazine well, it kind of disappears, but you can still get to it and drop it out since it drops free. It's going to be interesting for some people who don't like it. I think this is way better than the standard laminate mag or a laminate cha a stock that it came with. For some reason, I always had problems trying to insert the magazine into the, the factory tactical stock without looking. Like, I don't know, for some reason it didn't index well. This, this chassis, all you got to do is just kind of find the front of the, uh, this, uh, this angle here and you can just sort of guide it in without looking. So it's pretty easy. So I'm liking that aspect of it. On a better day, I would like to make sure that this gun is shooting well. Um, I'll show you my targets in a few, but it's not one holding at 25 like it should. The targets look more like they would at 50 yards. I'm gonna blame the wind and the cold right now because it's really bad, and the target was literally moving side to side when I was shooting uh, the groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably retorque this when I get home to 35 inch pounds again, or I might just do it now before we leave. Um, but that's kind of it for the CZ chassis. Um, I was hoping to have a better range day to show this off, but it is what it is. I wanted it to come out to the range so I get some photos of this so I can publish the article on this chassis. Um, I have the article pretty much written, ready to go. I just need to put some more photos in there and kind of add a few more uh, thoughts and opinions. But anyway, i um, going to kind of finish up here, pack up, and then get out of here because this cold wind weather is not helping out my cold because I'm feeling a, a little bit worse right now. So you see some of the groups here, they're not really that great. Um, these are kind of shots that you expect at more at 50 with this gun. This one's okay. Um, this one's a little bit better for one holing. But I stopped shooting around this point because I saw the, the, the target was moving back and forth left to right. I left the Lido Creek firing line pretty much done for the day. It was a miserable day of shooting. Uh, it was cold and windy. Didn't make my cold feel any better. I feel actually worse right now. So I need to take an Advil uh, before I start driving out of here. But I stopped by the West End Gun Club. So I'm sitting here right before the, the water flow in the creek that, cro that we have to cross to get to the range. And if you look behind me, probably can't see it on the wide angle, but it's actually not that bad. I would only say it's about a foot deep. And you can actually see the boulders, where, what line you need to cross or what line you need to take in order to cross the creek safely. So I probably could have crossed it this morning but I honestly don't want to risk it right now simply because why bother, right? Um, somebody got stuck last Sunday. I don't need to be a repeat. So anyway, didn't really do much of a range vlog today simply because I only fired 50 rounds of rimfire. The weather conditions and the blowing target didn't really help out for me to test the groups on the gun to make sure it's still grouping well. But it shoots relatively well for the weather conditions. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the gun is shooting okay, but again, I'd like to take it out when the weather conditions are better, and hopefully at the West End Gun Club in a better environment for which I'm more familiar with shooting, so I have better testing uh, parameters. And I'd like to test other, test other ammo, because I have more ammo that I wanna try out, various SK, SK ammo and Lapua ammo. Anyway, I'm feeling not too well right now, so I need to take some, some uh, headache medicine, and uh, need to get out of this cold, uh, cold weather. Anyway, I should have my article on the MPA CZ chassis posted shortly. I'm going to add some photos that I took today, um, include today's range vlog in that, in that article, and then uh, add a little bit more thoughts and opinions on the chassis itself, and I'll have that published um, on OKFJ.net. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, it's March 13th, Wednesday in front of the West End Gun Club uh, Creek, but after leaving Lido Creek uh, firing line. Anyway, thanks for watching the vlog. I'll see you in the next one.